Congress is struggling to respond to the immigration crisis, but Speaker Paul Ryan is pushing ahead with votes on two GOP bills. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi questions lawmakers and a presidential advisor. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. President Trump has said he's 100 or 1,000 percent behind both immigration bills. But Republicans want more clarity from him. Right now, there are two bills on the table, a moderate one and a conservative one. Both would fund the border wall and allow children to stay with parents if they're detained at the border. I'm a father. Uh, I would never allow my kids to be separated from me. And Republicans insist they don't want to take children away from their parents. They're forging ahead with a vote on two broad immigration bills. Both allow kids to stay with their detained parents. Speaker Paul Ryan supporting the moderate bill gives DREAMers a pathway to citizenship. Like I said, we're trying to pass this legislation right now. This is very good compromise legislation that not only solves the child separation issue at the border, it also solves the border. It solves DACA. It solves a lot of our broken immigration uh, parts. So right now we're focused on passing this legislation that's coming to the floor tomorrow. But conservative Republicans call it amnesty. Today, White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway, a faithful Catholic, says the president ran on immigration reform. The president is very on top of this issue. We're waiting to see what Congress provides. Will he sign either of the bills? He, has, he said that he'll wait to see what they put on his desk. All of the children, please come forward. Also on Capitol Hill today, immigrant children alongside Democrats protest on the House floor. Representative Luis Gutierrez, a Democrat from Illinois, says Republicans are playing politics. They will divide and destroy families so they can go say to their voters, see how good we are, see how mean and nasty we are, see how evil we are, vote for us and we will continue that. Both House GOP bills don't appear to have the votes needed to pass. And even if Republicans manage to pass something, it's likely to fizzle in the Senate. And that chamber is looking at a standalone bill to let families stay together in custody. Lauren? What are hardliners making of the president's decision to act on his own and let families stay together in detention? Congressman Steve King of Iowa Catholic tells me he supports the order, uh, the president's order to keep illegal immigrant families together. He says today's order would put an end to a media feeding frenzy. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi. Thank you, Jason.